So we've got the forecast for NFPs. How do you trade um, NFPs? Well, you know, all of the leading indicators suggest that non-farm payroll is going to be softer. So the safest bet, probably the lowest vol, would probably be to sell dollar Swiss. You know, um, dollar Swiss has got a bit of support at one point. Um, oh, oh, uh, 80, but once it blows past that, we could even hit parity in dollar Swiss. Dollar yen, I think it's headed to 115, but we're going to need a soft number to break through 115. Euro is the most vulnerable short covering, but we're pretty much near highs. I think dollar Swiss and Aussie dollar for a run up to 74 cents um, are my favorite trades. Um, but obviously, you know, what we really hope for is tonight some sort of bounce so we can sell at better levels. Um, trading in non-farm payrolls is always risky. So, you know, we're going to be live trading it reactively with our um, BK4X members. And that's probably um, the only way we're going to be trading NFPs. I don't envision us to be um, floating a live trade beforehand um, unless, you know, some people on for their own positions are bold enough to um, to actually take a um, – they're actually bold enough to take a position – that is um, somewhat different from you know what we recommend, which would obviously be, um, which would obviously be a uh, trade that is um, a trade that's that's actually um, negative dollars going into the NFP report if we you know so happen to get a really good price. So my favorite maybe overnight if we get um in the next couple hours going into Asia because I think we're gonna get another continuation move in Asia would be actually to sell um dollar Swiss if we're so lucky to get it um in the 40s, 10140. I don't know if we're actually going to get there, but you know that would be um a decent trade in my opinion. But you know pretty big moves going into the um Payrolls report. I watch yields very closely, and I can tell that yields are um, yields are still down quite a bit, and that most definitely points to that most definitely points to a further decline in the dollar.